Hey guys, it's Dale with the insurance. Today we're going to talk about um, national and regional carriers. The title of the article is actually national versus regional um, insurance carriers. Um, the idea is, and, and I guess first I'll preface this with saying when searching for the proper insurance partner, it behooves you to include national and regional carriers. Um, just to start that off. Um, the biggest difference between the two is funding, right? And funding, i.e. deep pockets, right? So national carriers are typically well-funded, right? So they have um, large reserves, they have a lot of dollars to invest. And as a result, it trickles down to the way they do business. And some of the things, some of the ways they do business may make it easier for you to choose them. So for instance, things like um, the claims process, the difference in insurance products and appetite, um, the coverage map, they may have coverage in I mean all over the world definitely all over the United States but but some things that, that really get people are it is the claims process right so with the larger company not saying that they don't care about the claims and they're not scrutinized as much but because they have the resources they can really streamline that process right so so a claims process for a national versus a regional carrier, it may, I mean, it, it could take days for a, a, a national carrier because of the resources they have. It could take far longer for, for a regional carrier. Um, regional carriers, by virtue of, of the lack of deep pockets, it's a blessing and a curse, right? So they may not have all the products, all the shiny bells and whistles, may not be on their coverage um their 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 cover their policies like the uh national carriers but what they do have is an expertise within the regions they're in right like not trying to be everything to everybody actually works in their favor because they get to be very specialized and cater their policies with coverages that are unique to the risks of that particular region, right? So if you have um, peculiar needs or risks from a business standpoint, uh, or any standpoint for that matter, that are unique to either your, your, your business operations or your region, you may actually want to go to a regional carrier because they will have the proper expertise to cover you. Um, also with the smaller carrier, by virtue of not having as many people, you get the chance to actually build a relationship with your underwriter most of the time. Um, in which case they may know your business way better than someone at a national carrier may, may, may know, right? Like at a national carrier, insurance carrier, you may speak to a different person every time. Um, so obviously if you're choosing a partner, include both national and regional carriers. There are exceptions to the rules, right? So you can find a very well-funded regional carrier. You can find a national carrier that doesn't have larger pockets, but, but on the, on the average, this holds true. Um, but either way, include both of them uh, and, and, and obviously make a decision according to your needs. Um, hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for stopping in and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.